Hello Taurus, welcome to another reading. This is all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you at this time, the person that you're dealing with or thinking about. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. So let's jump right in for Taurus, Spirit Angels Guides. Messages, guidance, please, for Taurus, regarding the person that you're thinking about, connecting with at this time. What is this person thinking, feeling? What are their energies towards Taurus and this connection at this time? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know? Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we have the Five of Wands. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And the Seven of Cups. Interesting. Well, the Five of Wands tells me there's some sort of conflict, drama, some sort of situation that you don't see eye to eye. Um, and for some reason, this person, when they think about you or your connection, they're thinking about this issue. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. Some sort of ending. Um, maybe this person thinks that they're, you know, they're thinking about an existing ending that has already happened. Or maybe they're wondering if this is all going to end. Um, maybe they have something to end in their own life. We'll see what else comes up. But uh, King of Cups tells me there's still feelings here. Love, um, compassion, interest, at least emotional interest. And the Seven of Cups is a card about kind of making a choice. Um, especially in this deck, it looks like the person doesn't really know what choice to make. So let's get some more insight. What's going on here, Spirit? What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Taurus at this time? Paralyzing fear. Happy ending. And bountiful harvest. I think this person's worried about the future. When I see all of these together, it's like this person I think is thinking, you know, do we have a future? Is there a future for... Taurus and I, um, victory lap at the bottom of the deck, will we have success? Um, am I going to be successful? I feel like this person's just worried. What else do we need to know, Spirit? What else do we need to know about this person's energies when it comes to Taurus? What else do we need to know? For Taurus. What else do we need to know? New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Ooh, this could be somebody new coming into your life or that you're dealing with. Give your relationship a chance. Or it could be that someone wants to start over or have another chance with you. We'll see. Forgiving and learning is at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, when I see all of those together, I think, you know, give me a chance. Give me another chance. Let's try again. Let's have this new beginning once again, etc., etc. So let's get some clarity here. I'm actually going to use the same deck. Okay, what's this? Justice, Libra energy, equal give and take, what's fair, what's balanced. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Let's break all of these down a little bit. Tell me about the Five of Wands, Spirit. Why is the Five of Wands here? Two of Wands and the Six of Swords. I feel like someone here is deciding whether to stay or go. I don't know if this is you, Taurus, or the person that you're dealing with, but someone's definitely thinking about a departure here. Maybe due to a fight, there was a departure, or maybe someone's thinking after a fight, I don't really want to be here anymore, or I'm not really sure if I want to stay, etc., etc. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Knight of Wands, making a move of some sort taking action. I feel like someone's debating what action to take when it comes to like all this conflict or drama. I don't know, you know, and feel free to flip the energy if it resonates more for you, Taurus, but I feel like someone's, you know, trying to figure out in the midst of all of this five of wands, whatever this five of wands represents, whether it, there's like drama going on in your connection, someone interfering in your connection, causing drama, some sort of argument, conflict that you're having with your person, Whatever this Five of Wands represents, I feel like someone is thinking or planning or wondering, like, 
what their next steps are, what the what the future holds, um, what action they might take here. And I don't know if this is you thinking about this action or your person. We'll see um, what else we get the more we clarify here. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck and the world. So, you know, when I think of the Ace of Swords here with the world, I think of someone literally cutting a way open for themselves or someone being very honest about what new cycle they want to go into, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe there's a special conversation that needs to happen, a little heart to heart regarding the future of a uh, situation because the world is all about endings and beginnings. So it could go either way. Tell me about this King of Cups. Why is this King of Cups here? What do we need to know? Ah. What do we need to know about this King of Cups? Three of Wands. What do we need to know about this Three of Not Three. This King of Cups. I was going to say Three of Cups. What do we need to know about this King of Cups spirit? What do we need to know? Wow, Three of Swords. So someone's been hurt or has hurt another person that they care about. Tell me about the, the King of Cups. Maybe someone's waiting um, to be heartbroken or to be disappointed. Why is the King of Cups here? Wow, the Hermit, Virgo energy. Again, with the thinking, planning, being withdrawn and figuring things out. I think the more I see this, the more it feels like there's a connection where there's two people in a connection and one of them is thinking about leaving and the other one is like heard about it or blaming themselves for it. Maybe someone has to, maybe someone feels guilty because they're the reason why another person's thinking this way. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Yeah, Five of Swords, because there's some sort of conflict here. Deception, someone treated unfairly, someone wasn't playing fair or took advantage. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is all about long-term commitments, security, stability. So maybe someone's thinking about their future and what they want to deal with, you know, and what they don't want to deal with. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Five of Pentacles, another five. Fives are all about, like, changes, conflicts. And there's the Tower. Yeah, there's something big that's happening here. I feel like someone is thinking about what to do about a difficult situation. Let's see where your person stands in all this. Let's jump into their energy. Spirit, tell me more about this other person that Taurus is dealing with or has been dealing with or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about their thoughts, feelings towards Taurus? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about their thoughts, feelings, energies? towards Taurus. I'm ready to open up and I'm afraid. Well, which is it? This person is definitely afraid of something because paralyzing fear is also here. Maybe they're afraid to open up and tell you what they really need to tell you. Bottom of the deck, I can't let you go. Yeah, I feel like this person's worried that you're going to leave them. Um, let's get a hidden truth oracle. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Taurus. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? I want to tell you how I feel, okay? So this is someone that has something to say, Taurus. Maybe they have something to tell you about how they feel about this whole situation or just in general. I am grateful for the spiritual lessons. So lessons have been learned here at least on your person's side. So let's get a little bit more insight into what they're thinking or feeling here. I'm gonna actually use this deck. Tell me more about this person's energies towards, towards, towards this connection. 
What do we need to know about this person's intentions or next actions? Let's see what they're gonna what their true intentions are. What are this person's true intentions or next actions towards Taurus? What are this person's true intentions? Next actions towards Taurus. What do we need to know? Knight of Swords. Yeah, they have something that they definitely want to say. Six of Pentacles and the Sun. Well, the Sun, I'm instantly thinking about clarity, clearing the air, having something be out in the open. Bottom of the deck, Cancer energy with the Chariot here. Hmm. Well, they can't let you go, so I feel like that's probably what they want to tell you. Let's see. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. I was going to put this deck down. I'm like, wait a second. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Spirit. Something has definitely happened. The Tower showed up. Three of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Five of Wands. Six of Swords. Something has definitely happened where a person has been hurt and is thinking of the future. And I think that when they're thinking about the future, they're thinking, I don't know if I want to stay in the situation that I'm in. So let's see what your person has to say when it, when it, you know, in the midst of all that. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Five of Cups. I'm sad. I'm disappointed. I feel guilty. I have regrets. I miss you, etc., etc. That's the Five of Cups. What else do we need to know about the Knight of Swords? Five of Cups looks back at the past with disappointment. So I feel like this person, yeah, there's the King of Cups again. They still love you. They still care about you, Taurus. And death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, but they're sad that things are over or that things have changed or that things might be over in the near future. Because I feel like they don't want things to end. There's the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They want a new beginning in love, but it's it's just not happening. And it could also be, Taurus, that this person is probably separated from you. It's been a while, and they still think about having a new beginning with you, but you are ready to move on uh, with the Six of Swords, or you ha have already moved on, and this person is sad, waiting for you. You know, it's like they've been waiting for you to return. But that's not happening. Tell me if that's resonating for you in the comments. Or are you planning to leave this person or keep your separation final? Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. This is all about equal give and take, balance, rebalancing a situation, giving to a situation. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. Yeah, they're hoping that, you know, this conversation, this apology, them being honest with you, yeah, brings about some sort of stability. Four of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. The Strength card, Leo Energy. They need courage to do this. There's the Moon, Pisces Energy at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they need courage, strength to do this because they're in the dark about you. Or they have doubts, fears, anxieties. We have had that come up twice. I'm, I'm afraid. And with the Seven of Cups, it's almost like someone's unsure. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? The devil, Capricorn energy. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Ah, these two. Ten of Wands, yeah. And the Hierophant, there you are, Taurus. I feel like this person um, weighed you down, Taurus. Maybe it was just too much for you to handle or deal with. Ten of Wands, the Devil, Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I think you just had enough, or you didn't want to fight anymore, or you didn't want to feel the way that you've been feeling. Maybe you got tired of the conflict. Maybe you got tired of being... Uh, mistreated or lied to or let us let let on you know there's so many ways you can interpret this five of swords 
I feel like when it comes to your person's next possible actions towards you, I think they want to reach out with this Knight of Swords and be honest about how they feel. I want to tell you how I feel. And I feel like whatever they have to tell you, I don't know, maybe you don't expect it. Maybe you do expect it. Um, the reason I say that you might not expect it is because they're opening up in some ways, which tells me they haven't been open about this in the past or they haven't been open about how they feel, you know, in the past or something like that. Okay, so let's get one more energy out here. What else do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Taurus? What else do we need to know? What's this? When I miss you, I look at photos of you. Oh, yeah. This person, they don't have access to you or they miss you. They think of you. Um, this person still, you know, they can't let you go. Literally, they cannot let you go. They keep thinking about you. So that's what I have for you, Taurus, um, for the energy for your person at this time. Let me know if this resonates for you in the comments. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more content from me. Those are two ways you can support what I do here for free. And I really appreciate anybody who takes the time out of the day to do that. Thank you so much. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.